Welcome back. Today's career video might be an excuse for me to wear the Screaming Eagle Capitals jersey. Because Peter Bondra, at the time that he became a Washington Capital, they ended up switching over to this design for their jerseys. He's a number 156 pick in the 1990 draft. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that's kind of low considering how his career worked out. Peter Bondra is one of those guys who very often the question gets asked, does he belong in the Hall of Fame? And I think you can make an argument that he, he does. And I think you can make the argument he doesn't as well. So I think there's there's reason for that uh, on, on both sides of that equation. Uh, Bondra, though, a lot of fun to watch. Great scorer. Pure goal scorer, right? So 90-91, he comes into the league in his draft year. And in 54 games, 12 goals, 16 assists, 28 points. He plays four playoff games and he gets one assist. So, Bondra, a player who um, I'm going to go ahead and say, I'm pretty sure he's the number one goal scorer among Slovakian players. Good debut for him. 91-92, plays 71 games, 28 goals, 28 assists, 56 points. So he's already a surprise. Consider where he's drafted and what was considered to be a very good draft. And amazing. And then in seven playoff games, he records six goals and two assists. So he's on the radar now. People know who he is. 92-93, that continues. Plays 83 games. There was an 84-game season that year. 37 goals, 48 assists for 85 points. So he scores more than a point per game. And it's one of those rare occasions where he has more assists than he has goals. And in six playoff games, that continues. He has six assists. No goals. He also made an appearance in the All-Star game that year. So, yeah, he's on the radar. He's an All-Star. 93-94 in 69 games played, 24 goals, 19 assists, 43 points. So it's a rough year, right? Misses a handful of games with injury, and his points per game is down. In nine playoff games, he records two goals and four assists. Interestingly enough, in that 24-game season, 24-goal season, 69-game season, he had a five-goal game on February 5th. He is one of the few NHL players who has a, who has a game where he's recorded five or more goals. And uh, yeah, so that's kind of a, an interesting moment. And without that five-goal game, he wouldn't have reached 20 goals. But his goal scoring improves. 94-95, lockout shortened season. He plays 47 of their 48 games. 34 goals, which led the league. Nine assists, 43 points. In the playoffs, seven games, five goals, three assists, uh, eight points. He also is first in the league with six shorthanded goals. He's very good shorthanded, pretty darn good on the power play as well. Uh, so 95-96 in 67 games, so he misses some games with injury. He finishes with 52 goals, his first 50-goal season. That was fourth in the NHL. You have to wonder how much higher he might have finished if he'd played every game. Uh, 28 assists for 80 points. So now we're into that stage where he's got a lot more goals than assists. Uh, six games played in the playoffs, three goals, two assists, and he did play in the All-Star game that year. So we go to 96-97, 77 games, 46 goals, which is 8th overall, 31 assists, so again, more goals than assists, 77 points, and he's in the All-Star game. No playoffs. The following season, this is as close as Bonder gets to a Stanley Cup. 97-98, 78 games played, or 76 games played, and he has 52 goals, which leads the league in goal scoring. 26 assists, 78 points. He plays 17 games in their Stanley Cup final run. Seven goals, five assists. He ends up sixth in heart voting. And he had 13 game-winning goals, which led the league in that category as well. So odds are, you know, you're looking at, at, at his play and his overall body of work. And then you hear about the Rocket Richard Trophy. And you're like, hey, that's for Peter Bondra. It's not. Peter Bondra would not lead the league in goal scoring again. So this is where the conversation comes up of, so if you have the Rocket Richard Trophy created years earlier, that'd be two trophies for Bondra, who does not have silver or have any hardware. I was going to say silverware, but that'd be forks and knives and spoons. Doesn't have any hardware uh, from his NHL career. But again, do the two years that he led the league in goal scoring, does that mean that he should get some consideration for Hall of Fame? So 98-99, the first year that we have the Rocket Richard Trophy, 66 games, 31 goals, 24 assists, 55 points. He does play in the All-Star game uh, representing the Washington Capitals. 99-2000, there's a drop in the goal scoring, 62 games, 21 goals, 17 assists, 38 points. Plays five playoff games, one goal, and one assist for two points. 
2000-2001, 82 games, the goal scoring roars back. 45 goals that year, which is fourth in the NHL, and it's 24 more goals than he had the year before. 36 assists, 81 points. In six playoff games, he has two goals and no assists. He had 22 playoff or two, 22 power play goals, which is first in the NHL, out of those 45 goals. 2001-2002, uh, 77 games played, 39 goals, which was sixth overall in the NHL. 31 assists, 70 points. So still, more goals than assists. His 17 power play goals that year is first in the NHL. So in back-to-back -back years, he led the league in power play goals. 39 power play goals over two seasons. Uh, he also that year got gold at the World Championships with Slovakia. So Slovakia having some international success with Bonder leading the way. 2002-2003 uh, in 76 games played, he has 30 goals, 26 assists for 56 points. In six playoff games, four goals and two assists. And at the World Championships that year, he ends up with a bronze medal for Slovakia. So his final season in Washington is the last year before we go to the lockout. Now, the final year that Bondra had in Washington wasn't the full season. Plays 54 games, 21 goals, 14 assists, 35 points. The Capitals are looking to shed some salary. He's on an expiring contract. He is traded as a rental to the Ottawa Senators in exchange for a 2005 second round pick as well as Brooks Leitch. Now, I'm going to say this. Washington picked up Brooks Leitch, a player I hadn't heard of at the time, who went on to have a half-decent career as Bonders wound down. So that trade ended up kind of being a win for Washington. But for Ottawa... Adding Bondra around the deadline was seen as being a key. This is a goal scorer. This is a guy they need. More depth for Ottawa. 23 games played in a Senators jersey. Five goals, nine assists, 14 points. So, rarity, he scores more assists than goals as a member of the Senators. In the playoffs, seven games played and no points. This is a player who, uh, you know, nice long career, but it clearly was winding down. September 18th of 2005, he signs as an unrestricted free agent with the Atlanta Thrashers. Some will say, did you just start this video up and, and get this idea because you wanted to put that Thrashers magnet on the on the board? Of course not. So, uh, in Atlanta, it's, again, he's winding things down, right? He gets his final 20-goal season, plays 60 games, 21 goals, 18 assists, 39 points. And again, for Atlanta, they're looking for depth, they're looking to you know, make things work. It would be 07 when Atlanta would make the playoffs. They don't make it in 06. So December December 10th of 2006, when we're well into the season by about two months, he signs with the Chicago Blackhawks as an unrestricted free agent, plays 37 games with the Hawks, five goals, nine assists. So the same totals he had with Ottawa in the regular season, just more games played. And what's noteworthy of his time in Chicago is he scores his 500th goal on December 22nd of 2006, which means that he joins Bobby Hull, Stan Makita, and Michelle Goulet as players who scored their 500th goals with Chicago. And as weird as it was to see it with Goulet, who spent most of his career in Quebec, it was just as weird to see it with Bonder in Chicago when he spent most of his career in Washington. Felt like his 500th goal should have been in Washington. And of course, his reputation as the best goal scorer Washington had maybe up there with Gartner, would be annihilated when the Sovechkin kid gets drafted, right? So, uh, 1,081 career play, career games in the regular season. 503 goals, which is 43rd overall. 389 assists, 892 points. What's interesting with that is, he has the fewest points of any 500 goal scorer. And that's the interesting part is, that if he had had more assists, and if he'd had over 1,000 points, he probably makes the Hall of Fame. He's probably in there. So that may very well be one of the things that's kept him out. Both in 1997 and 1999 at the NHL Skills Competition, he was the fastest skater. Doesn't get you in the hall, but it's an interesting little tidbit. And uh, he ended up scoring 33 goals wearing a Slovakian uniform in international competition in 47 games. So for Slovakia, kind of a hero. And uh, Bondra was uh, was one of the, the better players in the NHL, probably the best goal scorer for a while there. Uh, he ends up with 149 power play goals in his career, which is 54th on the all-time list, 32 shorthanded goals in his career, which is 16th, and 78 game-winning goals in his career, which is 38th. So as a goal scorer, 
He's fantastic. And the question becomes, should that be enough to get him in the Hall of Fame? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through you just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.